Can you go closer? So, today I'm going to be doing an oil change on my Saturn SC2. If you've got anything between a 99 and a 2003, they should all be generally close to the same as far as the filter location, as far as the um, oil pan, as far as how much oil you need for it, and the style of oil. It should all be relatively similar. We're going to jump right into doing that. and. Uh, So yeah, let's do it. So, anytime you're doing an oil change on any vehicle uh, necessarily, you're gonna want a socket set because you're gonna need sockets for your oil catch pan. You're also gonna want one of these tools for getting the tire off, whether you wanna use a breaker bar. Um, I've got one of these, so we're just gonna use that today which not all vehicles you have to take off the tire, but I have a Saturn, I mean a Camaro, so. Uh, you're gonna want some rags. You're definitely gonna need your oil. Something to take off the oil filter. If it hasn't been taken off in a while or it was put on by somebody like yourself, uh, way too tight, you might not be able to get it off. So you're gonna want something like this. Oil filter is very important. I don't necessarily like dumping all of my oil on the shop floor. So I'll grab one of these. The words funnel. You're gonna want a funnel because uh, I don't like dumping oil all over my engine either. You'll smell that when we start it up. WD-40, just in case for some reason, uh, something's getting locked up. So you're gonna wanna find your jack points in their car. You can also look at your owner's manual, or you can find the most solid piece of metal on it. Now the goal is to wear a white t-shirt. First try, okay. Now, I always recommend putting a jack stand under because it is very important to make sure you have some kind of safety mechanism holding the car sturdy. So you put your jack underneath, underneath the frame, and you're just gonna slowly drop that jack down. And once you get it to set on the jack and the jack is sturdy underneath the car, you can stop the jack. Some people just leave it right in the jack stands. I like to keep that jack under there. All right, let's get the tire off the rest of the way. We're gonna have to go ahead and take off this uh, protection plate in here, which I believe it just kind of pops out. I don't think there's any screws in it. All right, so once you break, I mean, successfully take off the plate, we can actually just let that sit there. Our oil filter is right up there in a really convenient spot. We're gonna jump into the Craftsman kit really quick. And for this car specifically, we're gonna grab a 14 millimeter. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab just a short extension. It's a little easier to get up in there. All right, we are headed to the oil pan. All right, so the oil pan is located kind of right over top of where the, um, the oil filter is, just further in, right there. Drain plug right here, which should be a 14 which is actually gonna be a 15. There you go, guys. Can you give me a 15 millimeter? Oh, crap. <laughs> All right. So the dumb part of the location of the oil pan spout is that it's on this side. And um, the way that it is, you're gonna still have a bunch of oil up in this side. So, the way that you can fix that is either you can jack up the other side a little bit to level it out, or you can drop your jack down just a little bit. Stand out. And now you do want to make sure you do this really slow because you don't want to drop it down on the rotor. That would not be good. And look at that. It's still going. We can go ahead and pull the oil filter. And so we're going to pull our oil pan as far this way as we can. And it's still under there. Yeah, that looks good. Now, oil filters are only supposed to be hand tightened, so we're gonna see if it actually was hand tightened. But of course, there's a little bit of oil on it. Or get her off of there, 3,000. If we can get it in there. We just need to be able to rip it. Rip it and rip it. 
<laughs> what in the world? So we got that loose after we broke it a lot. So now that should just come right out of here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> if you wonder what happened. <laughs> Now, one of the tricks when you want to put your new oil filter on is to properly lubricate uh, your seal. And so you just take a little bit of the old oil and just rub that right around the seal. Once it's tight to the point that you can't tighten it by hand anymore, you have tightened it enough. Frame plug, you don't want to over tighten that because that is not fun to get off. And whenever I'm torquing down uh, wheels on smaller cars, you know, sort of 90 foot pounds, you always want to torque down your wheels in a star pattern. Make sure you don't mess up your alignment. This car calls for four quarts of oil. Oh, baby. And just like that, you too can change your oil. <laughs>